My Hero Academia is one of my favorite anime ever. And speaking of obvious statements, the battle between All Might and All for One is just awesome. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today for day 9 of the 12 Days of Anime. So yeah, spoilers up through halfway through season 3 of Boku no Hero. The battle against All for One is one of the most emotionally charged battles in anime. I want to f- explain exactly why that is. What gives the battle so much emotional weight? It starts with the build-up, which is done great. You have the professional hero show up to see Bakugo, and they apprehend the League of Villains easily. And All Might busting through the wall when they announce pizza delivery, just awesome. There's such a heroic flair that All Might has, and, and really all the heroes have that, just not quite to the same degree. And then you have All for One taking out Best Genist and the other pros, filling the students who have been watching on with so much fear. From far before the fight began, the parallels between All Might and All for One are on full display, which adds so much to their clash. All for One frequently uses All Might's line, I am here, which is just so chilling. There's also the impact on the students. All Might inspires them to be heroes, while All for One just terrifies them into not being able to move. And All for One's relationship with Shigaraki is so great. A villainous mentor like this is something that I have never seen before, at least not that I remember, and so I like it so much here. There's a certain warmth in the dialogue between All for One and Shigaraki, even a type of love between them. This further strengthens the connection and the parallels here between All Might and All for One, with them both having a protege that they are getting ready to pass the torch to. And so as you see All For One talking to Shigaraki, you're just waiting for All Might to fly in and save the day. And All Might shows up with a tremendous display of power, though he is matched and even outmatched by All For One's power. All Might is someone who fights mainly with raw power, but here he's just outmatched. I've talked in other videos about narrative stakes and how they make battles so much better, and this is so true about this fight. On a surface level, you have All Might fighting to save Bakugo, and then All for One fighting to save Shigaraki. But there is so much more going on. You have Deku and the other students who want to save Bakugo, but they want to do so in a way that does not break the law, meaning that they cannot physically harm anyone. All Might is fighting to overcome his regret for not stopping All for One in the past. And All for One, who as I mentioned, is fighting to save Shigaraki, but that turns to wanting to destroy All Might and everything he stands for. And then you have All Might fighting against the limits of his quirk, exhausting all the strength that he has left. And then he's also fighting for the hope that he has given the entire world as the symbol of peace. Plus, the heroes don't want to harm any of the bystanders around. And then you have the overall motivation of the League of Villains to destroy society's trust in heroes. All these layers of motivation on, on top of each other set the stage for an incredible battle, even if the fighting itself isn't that good. Which, to be perfectly honest, it isn't. I know this may be weird to say because I'm a Hero Aka fanboy, but outside of the big moments of the fight, it is unremarkable. At least if you take away the narrative surrounding it. When Bakugo is fighting the League of Villains, it's just them throwing some attacks at each other, nothing actually happening, or any progress being made, and that's the same like, oh my, keeps trying to run to Bakugo, all for one holds him back. Repeat, nothing is really happening. The big moments, though. That is where the fight really shines. I love how all the pieces of Deku's plan come together, and how they all must work for him to be able to save Bakugo. And this is something I talked about in my Season 3 video, so I'm not going to repeat it here, but there's so many plot threads that led to that one big moment that were great. And then I just love the pros showing up to help to save the kids so they could get Bakugo away. I also liked how you could really feel Shigaraki's sadness knowing that as he was forced through the portal, he would probably never see All for One again, and All for One is his hero. After the League of Villains and the students leave, that is when the battle really focuses in on All Might and what he stands for, showing a lot about his relationship with Shimura, the previous holder of Wung for All. And of course, All for One is attacking her legacy, what she stood for, basically saying that she was a fool for what she did. And this makes All Might furious. Then you have the media starting to film the fight, showing All Might losing, allowing All for One to begin to break All Might's image, especially as All Might reaches his limit and can no longer hold his heroic form. Then, to further break All Might, All for One reveals that Shigaraki was Shimura's grandson. 
This moment reveals All Might's failure, and Shimura's failure too for that matter. We get a flashback to Shimura saying that a hero is not someone who just saves someone's life, but saves their hearts. And because of the path Shigaraki has gone down, the heroes have failed him. And that is what allowed All for One to save him. This revelation destroys All Might's will to fight. Though the cheers of a bystander encourage him to keep going. He has so much to protect that while he might have failed in the past, he still has the reason to fight. And I just love All Might's character. He is quite possibly my favorite character in all of anime. Like him or Okabe from Steins Gate. Really hard to compare the two. But All Might is just so awe-inspiring, inspirational. But you see that he also has his failures. And seeing him overcome these failures, that is what makes him such a great hero. And as he draws all his power into this final few punches, defeating All for One, the words of Shimura just add weight to the blow, and you can feel All Might pulling out every last drop of power that he has. After the battle is over, he raises his fist, transforming once more, declaring himself the victor and the symbol of peace that has overcome all that was thrown at him. And that is just an incredible moment. One of the things I love about My Hero Academia is that it gave All Might this victory. It seems like a lot of anime have the mentor character fail to defeat their arch enemy, so the protege has to pick up the torch and defeat them instead. Or maybe that's just Naruto. Whatever the case, this fight served as a wonderful end to All Might's story as the professional hero. He overcame his failures, pushed beyond his limits to protect the people he cared about, and just defended his legacy as a symbol of peace. I also like that All Might did not die here. Again, a lot of stories would have this be where the mentor is killed and then the protege has to pick it up from there. But by having All Might continue living, Without his powers, that just opens the door for some interesting storytelling that we get later on in the season. Plus, All Might's too awesome to not be alive, if that makes any sense. Whatever. Anyway, thank you for letting me come to you with one of my favorite fights in anime and talk about it. I always like talking about this show, and I'm surprised that I only have two videos about My Hero Academia this year. Yeah, I'm not going to do 12 again. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.